The main purpose of this film is to show the quick turnaround of aircraft actively engaged against the enemy. when fighters return and taxi to their dispersal point is for the armourers to find out from the pilot that the gun firing controls are safe. Having obtained safe from the pilot, the armourer and his mate remove gun and cannon panels. The armourer works on top of the wings, his mate underneath. After removing all panels from the port wing, the armourer, assisted by his mate, will clear the browning gun. After helping to clear the two machine guns, the armourer's mate goes to the cockpit, where he holds the cannon cocking lever in the cocked position, while the armourer clears the cannon and removes cannon magazines. It is important in the interest of safety that the cocking lever should be held at cocked while the magazine is being removed. The mate then takes the empty magazine from the armourer and the two proceed to the other wing where the clearing process is repeated. While they are thus engaged, we will take a look at some of the other men concerned with the turn round. Here is a rigger whose job is to carry out a quick between flight inspection and to look for any damage caused by enemy fire. An electrician makes a quick check over and replenishes anything necessary. Here he is fitting a new battery. A wireless mechanic checks radio equipment and satisfies himself that all is in working order. This photographer is reading the cine camera footage indicator in the cockpit. If film has been exposed, he takes out the used magazine and fits a new one. Oxygen empties are removed by the instrument repairer and full bottles fitted. By now, guns and cannon on the other wing have been cleared. And the armourer reports, guns cleared, which means work may proceed in front of the guns. On the seat of guns clear, the armourer's assistant cleans the gun barrels with lightly oiled channelette. He oils the four by two with the cleaning oil which he carries with him. He works the oil well into the flannelette before attacking the barrels. The tanker comes in to replenish petrol supplies under the supervision of the fitter. In the foreground, the armourer's mate is cleaning the starboard machine gun. After cleaning all four machine guns, the armourer's mate will fit clean 4x2 to his cleaning rod and dry the barrels. It must always be remembered that the turning round of fighter aircraft is an operational measure and must not be confused with or substituted for normal inspection and maintenance. For example, that armourer's assistant using his cleaning rod on those machine guns knows that he's not removing all the fouling from the barrels and that when the aircraft is released from operations, all those barrels and the rest of the recording portion will have to be removed from the guns for thorough cleaning and inspection. However, by using his cleaning rod, he is removing a certain amount of fouling, which is easy to shift now, but which will be much harder to remove if left till the end of the day. He is also ensuring beyond doubt that there is no obstruction in any of the barrels. Having thoroughly cleaned and dried the machine gun barrels, the armourer's mate repeats the process with the cannon barrels. This view of the armour is not presented for your amusement, but to point out the rubber boots he is wearing for the protection of wing surfaces. The performance of aircraft can be reduced by dents and scratches. 
The armourer is wiping off the beach blocks, beach waves and barrel extensions of the Browning gun. As sludge accumulates when the guns are fired, this is important. After wiping off, he applies a light smear of anti-freezing oil mixed with an equal proportion of paraffin as a lubricant. The armourer's mate, having cleaned the cannon barrels with oil, changes the flannelette as he did in the case of the machine gun barrels. Notice that he takes eight sections of four by two. Meanwhile, the armourer has cleaned and oiled the recoiling portions of the remaining gun and moves over to the port cannon where he wipes off and lightly re-lubricates the breech block guide, breech block and breech way. The armourer is now handed a full magazine by his mate and loads the cannon while his mate makes sure that no one is standing in the line of fire. He replaces straps and panels and then may either reload the other cannon or proceed with the browning guns on the wing on which he is working. The armourer's mate fits full browning tanks, offering the loading straps to the armourer through the feed chute. The armourer assists the loading straps through the feedway and then loads the gun. His mate ensuring that no one is in or enters the line of fire. When all guns have been loaded, Armourer and mate replace the remaining panels and secure them. The armourer inspects signal cartridges and, if necessary, replaces them. <laughs>